she's I back. I saw you drive by a minute ago. Yeah, we thought we passed it. And she looks Close. so good from a distance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. 488s. Yep. Okay, your speedometer tells you you're doing 100 when you're doing 70. Um, when you get home, you need to fix the driveline angle because uh, it's got a bad vibration in it at 70. Matt's got me all hooked up here. Got the Jeep all fixed. With the 307s, it was like, I didn't even realize how high gears I had, but uh, apparently these 4x8s are going to be drastically different. Ooh, it's smooth. So I have some news actually, uh, there's been a bit of a delay in the uh, traveling, let me explain. So a couple days ago my parents and I drove out to go pick up my Jeep. Um, it had gotten the 4x8 gears installed and I had already planned out everything I was going to do that day for the most part. The plan was to get to the Jeep as soon as possible. I was going to go try to find somewhere to camp that night, somewhere out in maybe by a lake or just, just somewhere secluded and I was going to stay there probably and just enjoy the nature for a day and I was going to, you know, start getting back to the channel and stuff, getting back to the traveling. And then I was going to go to Kansas maybe, knock out Kansas, you know, another check off the list for the 50 state road trip and from there go straight back to Colorado. That was the plan, but um, what I didn't know was uh, by the time I actually went to pick up my Jeep, uh, Matt, the guy who worked on it for me, uh, he told me that there was a couple things I was going to need to work on before I keep going on this trip. And, um, here, let me show you. Okay, so, it's actually an old issue that I've had, and I thought I fixed it, but I'm going to explain why apparently I was completely wrong about that and why it's going to cause issues if I don't address it. So this right here, this line up here, that represents my transfer case. Down here, that would be my, um, so this would be my pinion, and then this is going to be my transfer case. Now the issue is, is because I have such a big lift, this is the angle we're at right here. So the drive line, if that's my drivetrain, then right here, this has to send all the power from my transmission down to this drive line and rotate it somehow. And the issue is, is if the angle's like this right now, where these are both completely flat, it causes binding. The pinion angle in the rear is like this to the drive shaft. Mm -hmm. It actually needs to be like this. Got it. Okay. It's a little too much. Just yeah, because what's happening is when you're going down the road, that pinion's kicked up instead of being straight. That's actually what I did. I have an eight degree shim in there that's tilting my pinion up so it's at an exactly point pointing directly to the drive shaft. And I thought that would fix the problem, but apparently I was wrong. And he was telling me what I need to do so it's not going like this is to get it a couple degrees lower so it's more like this so under acceleration it lines up perfectly and that should help relieve the pressure and the reason that this is a problem is because it could drive out my pinion bearing and uh, that would be just another thing I have to fix but I decided actually to come back to Longview because um, on top of my parents just really wanting me to be back home and to spend some time with them before I leave again there was a couple things that I'm able to do here that I wouldn't be able to do there. The biggest one actually being a roof rack. I contacted a few companies about seeing if they would sponsor me a roof rack and I haven't gotten a definite answer yet. I haven't got a yes or a no. 
Well, I contacted Jeff. I told him my situation and asked him if he'd be willing to help me. He, he told me that he'd be able to probably knock it out real quick and we kind of brainstormed some ideas. And right now, the plan is to order the Smittybill roof rack. I actually already got it ordered. It's supposed to be here, I think on the 20th. So it should be a couple days from now. 24th at the latest is what it says, but it's already shipped. So I'm expecting it somewhere in the next couple days. We're gonna try to modify it the best we can so that it'll be able to handle the amount of abuse, abuse, <laughs> the amount of abuse that I'm gonna put it through. And so the plan is to get all this stuff knocked out as soon as possible. So I'm gonna get them fixed and get back on the road. I know that I wanted to be on the road this week and I told you guys I was gonna be back this week. I promise that nobody wants to get back on the road more than me. If anybody is, you know, like biting their fingers off right now, it's me, I am I really want to get back out there. Also, another thing, if anybody actually um, wants to do some kind of group meeting or whatever, or like I know a couple of people already told me they're going camping in different places. I got a couple invitations from, the, I've got a few invitation, invitations, invitation, <laughs> I can't say that word. I've already had a few people ask me if I would be willing to go wheeling somewhere or to hit them up when I'm in certain areas. And I'm trying to keep track of it all, but um, I'm having issues. So I wanna try to set up a way where you guys can just tell me like where you're at um, or a cool place where you wanna go wheeling, where you live, you know, Colorado, um, Oklahoma, wherever you are, and find a time when we can meet up and go wheeling together. I think that'd be awesome to meet some of you guys, especially now that the channel is starting to grow. But uh, I'm, until I figured out, uh, figured out, until I figure out a better way to do that, I'm going to link an email I made down below. So if you email me any of that information of um, where you live or where you want to meet up and see if we can work something out together, that'd be awesome. I will do my best to do that if possible. I really wanted to try to meet up with a few people recently, but like I said, the Jeep isn't even in a situation to drive or travel right now. So once I get those things fixed, I would love to try to get out and go wheeling or go camping or just do whatever. So just check the email down below. It's gonna be lifeoftrevorcontact at gmail.com. Just like that, email me, tell me what you guys have planned and hope to see you guys soon.